From Hollywood, California, in the back room of Meltdown Comics, Harmontown is now in session. Oh, yeah. Let's bring out somebody near and dear to my heart, Mr. Spencer Crittenden. Oh, yeah. And the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You seem, you seem very cocksure tonight. Nah, I'm a little high. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Uh, uh, what flavor of uh, narcotics are you on tonight? Just weed or what? Strawberry cough, I think it's called. I don't know. <laughs> Sativa. I, I, I'm not. I'm just, I don't make that my gimmick. It's, 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 make that society's gimmick. Legalize it. Um, all right, Nancy Reagan died. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got so high before the show. I was like, I feel like I feel like a ghost finally stopped telling me to say no to things. Maybe I. Uh, 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 did you write that joke down? Was that prepared? Or no, you, I just made the you, connection. I came out. I followed. That's my, I told them I'm that's high. Real. They're they're gonna know sooner or later that I'm high. And then I was like. <laughs> I got one thing to talk. Nancy Reagan died. You, you just so early. You, you just said yes. I love yeah. That. <laughs> but but then yeah. I'm like, okay. It's not like you've been saying no your whole life. I mean, no, I haven't. But but yet a floodgate did open more. Yeah. Right. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what happened. <sighs> All right. So Nancy Reagan, uh, ninety-four years old, rich. So so you, you're saying foul play. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the first ladies. <laughs> That they all died. <laughs> all of these women married first men. All of them are dropping away. In their 90s. Year by year. Norma Taft. You know, you, you want to be a great serial killer, kill people who are 94. <laughs> <laughs> there was a... You know, fam- famous people die. Here's the thing: famous people they die as often, if not, if not more than like, the obscure. You know what? They, they die less. Yeah. That's that's the point of being famous. They're they, rare. They, they die less. They're rare people. Famous people die less than non-famous people. I, I, I thought it was closer to a one-to-one ratio. <laughs> In a room full of a hundred people, less of them that die will be famous. Well, because there are less famous people. Exactly. That's right. what that's oh, the point oh, I was trying to make. Okay, I dig it. All right. There are less famous deaths than obscure deaths. We right. just know about the famous ones. Right. <laughs> Man, you're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> I really did think that was an awesome, mind-blowing quote. I, I picture that as being like Yogi Berra or Mark Twain on a calendar. Like, there are less famous deaths than obscure ones. We just know about the latter. I, yeah. I can't get it back. Can't I can't get it back. I, I, thought I, I thought I did something amazing. I want you to smoke more strawberry cough before every show. Nancy Reagan. Charm, grace, and a passion for America. A lot of the headlines were like, this elegant, suave. Like, I don't know. So, I so what class and, like, I don't know. They're just praising, praising her d- dress. Her red, There's a lot of people saying she, she wore dressed a red, nice. She wore that red dress all the time. Uh, and then and it's, it's hard. It's like like well, okay, she's uh, there's, uh, there's the kind of USA Today article. <laughs> everybody everybody kind of chimes in, and you have people like for instance, uh, let's see, like uh, Obama. He's got of course he's got to say something. He said our former first lady redefined the role in her time here. President Obama said in a statement. Later, in her long goodbye with President Reagan, she became a voice on behalf of millions of families, blah, blah, blah. So people are like, you know, like, 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 they're like, what did she contribute? Let's eulogize her, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see, I'm scrolling down. Mitt Romney said, uh, yeah, well, he, that, he kind of, <laughs> he said something kind of dickish, too, that'll undercut my punchline, which is Trump. Uh, 
But it's like like everybody from Republicans to Democrats and everyone in between, people that lost their election, like Jimmy Carter had to say something. And he, he said, uh, uh, Mrs. Reagan's Just Say No program prevented many young people from falling prey to the allure of drug use. Like, he's, he, 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 she started a phony war on drugs that's put a bunch of people in prison for no goddamn reason. But, but, but... <laughs> But, so but, but just let's just, just confine this to the box of how to do a eulogy. <laughs> just for a second, and then we'll get to all that, that stuff. I, that was mine. It's a, so, so it's just it's just paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. It's like Jim Henson said this, Jimmy Carter said that. It's just like everybody's like, oh, what's he going to say? She she was she was like a the Muppet of people, and uh, so, but it's just like, like, like people largely get to like Obama had a really nice story. I think I read the wrong paragraph where right? like, he he really kind of nailed it the most because he really did. He was like, it's it's hard to move into the White House, and she gave Michelle Obama like a kind of like a a, a tutorial. In it, like, she, like, like, right. impl- you know, it's just like, like, yeah, fo- like, like focusing the, on her. Like Don- a, Donald Trump yeah. called Mrs. Reagan the wife of a truly great president. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the end of my story. And, pe- I just, and, <laughs> and people say, people say he's he's a misogynist, but that, like, listen to that. Listen to how much he loves women in that quote. <laughs> what a fucking cunt. <laughs> He, he can't do anything I like. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of magical because he's that. He just every time he says something, you go, I fucking want to just hit you in the, the face. The wife of a truly great president and an amazing, amazing woman. She really, really, really great. No, it's true. It's true. No, it's true. It's true. Well, Ted Cruz said she will be remembered for her deep passion for this nation and love for her husband. I mean, of course, well, you know, she'll be remembered for yeah, her love of her husband. Yeah. That's because her husband will be no, remembered. She, she did take care of a deeply, like, senile, demented old dude for, like, a long time, and she was very cool about that. I mean, it was really not- weird that on CNN, I, I, I turned the TV on for a moment today, and uh, Anderson Cooper was talking to his mom, Gloria fucking Vanderbilt. Well, that's fucking weird, too. What? His, his mom's Gloria Vanderbilt, if I'm not mistaken. And so they interviewed her, because she and Nancy were, like, apparently booze and buddies. Like, they were really good friends. And so he's, he's talking to Gloria Vanderbilt like, on the phone, and, he, and, and Anderson Cooper, news anchor, goes, he, okay, mom, so... And he kept calling her mom. I was like, this is the worst news show in the world. <laughs> Talking to your mom. <laughs> that sounds adorable, though. <laughs> okay, I mean, she she actually eulogized Nancy quite well because they were pals. But like, here's the thing. like, So Nancy Reagan, you think, uh, well, you guys don't think. Some of you think, I don't know, like like Norma Taft. Like, 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 <laughs> but I, I was a child of the 80s. Nancy Reagan sat on Mr. T's lap. lap. Na- Na- Nancy Reagan was the just say no lady. Nancy La- Reagan was on, a, why can't I speak? Because I'm high. The, the, Nancy Reagan was on different strokes. Nancy, she always, and she had a little gimmick. And she was like, she was Nancy Reagan. She was, but, but, but. Did, did she do a little dance? She, she was, she would, she, you know, she, she, yeah, she, was, uh, she just like, they would trot her out and she'd get like, I'm here with Knight Rider. Knight Rider can say words that cars can't, i.e., all of them. But there's only one word your car needs to know, and that's no <laughs> to drugs. Because my administration marks the beginning of a concept where you take, like, for instance, crack cocaine and you say you get 10 years in jail for yeah. a, 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 the weight of crack cocaine that you would get, like, a thousand years. It, it, it's, anyways, it was, uh, there, was the, it, there was a lot of shit that so the, you see people tweeting and you go, like, like why are we eulogizing this person? And uh, I count myself among that. It's like, like come on. Like, Don Knotts dies and you go, look, a lot of people are dying. Don Knotts died and he was in the show goodbye Don Knotts <laughs> if a president dies and you go like ah well I remember that time in my life uh, he was president of it okay <laughs> net 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 zero like probably uh, positive memories and negative whatever t- didn't know the wife of a president I'm like eh, I don't know how to film. I don't know how to deify anybody yeah there must be a- because because if you're deifying her you're deifying her for the for breakfast in America or whatever that era was called it's a dawning of a new age where we're going to take all the mentally ill people and throw them in the street and just call them homeless from now on it's like 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 like, 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 that's not her. She wasn't, like, banging a gavel and saying, we should do that. Yeah. She, was, she wasn't necessarily, I don't, like, 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 here's the thing. B- 
big, 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 big mistake we made during that uh, era, the biggest complaint that you could, I mean, is the gay community because they literally, not only were they not responsive to what they what they knew was an uh, an epidemic that, that, that they actually there's paper trails of them like going mm, let's actually come yeah. on we don't need that much funding for like 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 that area yeah, and stuff scandalous and as I, there was a <laughs> Uh, so well, yeah, yeah, it was scandalous because it was a gay disease, and like, like, and then there's a there's a story I read today, and I, I was, yeah, she just died, so I'm like standing over her grave and going, now let's talk about what a shitty time that was. I'm not talking about her. You'd know, be great. She's she probably an amazing what, person. If I were Nancy Reagan, and my legacy, we're all going to remember her for having a red dress, being a first lady, in that order, and and say no to drugs. Just what what no. is she fucking just OD'd? If I were Nancy, I would just say, I'm just going to speedball it. I'm gonna t- I, 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 I want you to find me with Dave Navarro on a bathroom floor. Or if she just said on her deathbed, if she just said, like, listen, uh, just say yes <laughs> to all of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a story I read in this, like... I did, I did, like 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 like, like, like it, it brought all kinds of memories back to me because it was a story about how it's a it's a bit like it's a bit I mean it's it's inflammatory like maybe to even read you, it, but your hair looks like, amazing tonight did, did you bl- blow dry it what's going on I, I don't, Is it, did, you, did you shampoo or what's going on I just assume it's, you're making fun of no, me no I'm not and, I'm saying. <laughs> It, 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 it looks really nice. Okay, all right. It's, it's, it, it, Having flashbacks guy, to the school bus. This guy can't, cannot take okay, a compliment. Okay, I get it. Yeah. I, I, I look good. It's hilarious. God damn it. <laughs> Dan, just say <sighs> thank you, Jeff. <sighs> thank you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you, but I don't know if it's true or not. You look, your hair looks... I'll have... Let me look. It, it, it looks. It, I don't. I don't know. I, uh, well, that's not. I can't see what happens on that camera. <laughs> I'm gonna look. Uh, 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 G- give a profile. Take a look. To, and if I agree, then I'll say thank you. Give a, give a profile to all the cameras right now, so we can. Oh. See. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's looking good. Here, here. Wow. Yeah. All right. Is, is there a way you can see? Uh, can I sh- show you what I'm seeing from the like when you face forward? Will, will that work from your camera? Will it... Well, it'll it'll involve a, some coming and going, but <laughs> we, you can't airdrop it to me. But is, is, is this? Oh well, I can't. Uh, no, I can't see that. Uh, 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 no, you it? need to take a picture of them <laughs> no, no, in profile. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> it's We're so old. Dan, you know. look just like me. That's <laughs> so funny. We're so I, I really, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it stays this fun until we just die. Like, uh, I mean, that's apparently Nancy Reagan was like, yeah, I'm 94. I don't understand Donald Trump. Like, like must be nice. Because a lot of people are like, I'm 17. I just ate my shoe. But... <laughs> That's a terrible way to die. <laughs> yeah. It's, I just now found out you can eat a shoe. People, when, back in the old days of leather shoes, when you got hungry enough, you, you, you boiled your boot and you ate it. Werner Herzog. Herzog ate a boot? He, he, Werner Herzog did a bet with Robert Zemeckis. Who was it? <laughs> Errol Morris. <laughs> if it was Robert Zemeckis, and you, would, you wouldn't be able to trust the results. Like, like, I'd be like, I bet. I bet that's not a real boot. Uh, he, did a, he did a bet about... Uh, they had some gentleman's bet about the documentary world. <laughs> I, I bet, I, I, finishing a film on time. Finishing a film on time. Okay, good. Perfect. Film, finish a film by a certain deadline and... and, and, and Go and on. Herzog... <laughs> the bet was that he would eat a shoe and did Errol Morris shoot Herzog eating a shoe? Yeah. Should look it up. What's that? He fried it in duck fat. Oh, he fried it in duck fat. Oh, fancy. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're going to eat a shoe. <laughs> what kind of shoe is it? Was it like a, like a Reebok or what? what? Headline, Nancy Reagan refused to help dying Rock Hudson get AIDS treatment. 
Is that true? It's 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 a, it's a story that is like uh, I was reading it and was like bringing back all these memories because the interesting thing is it's a story about I don't know if this this should be on her hands or not but uh, how Rock Hudson back in those days he there in France they had treatments that were far more advanced than ours along the road of like acknowledging AIDS and how to treat it Rock Hudson was like in line to get that treatment but he was blocked at an international level because this was a French hospital and there was red tape tying it up and there was a point where somebody had called the White House and said this is a friend of Nancy's from the acting day a friend of not Ronald's uh, uh, he, if, if a call from the White House might be able to get him through to this French hospital and the, there was a there, so there you know there, the, the, this incident is like sort of pulled apart and you're talking to each person on the chain they're, they're, the person that answered that call and went to Nancy Reagan and said this is the situation with Rock Hudson he acknowledges he's he's on the side of like this is not about AIDS being uh, uh, stigmatized uh, or anything like that that it was about objectivity egalitarianism oh god if we did a favor for our Hollywood friend can you imagine lots of other people of course making the very valid observation that right. give, give me a break if Bob Hope had colon cancer you wouldn't fucking bomb Tibet yeah. <laughs> but, but um just, just to get your frustrations out. That, uh, but, 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 but wasn't it wasn't it Rock Hudson's uh, death from AIDS what softened the Reagan stance on it? Like, wasn't that the first time they kind of acknowledged? Well, it? Well, this is the thing. Is that that's what got me really thinking about this because part of this article is it's not it's not all just like sort of slinging and you know TMZing about like uh, oh Nancy Reagan like didn't like it. It goes into you know conjures these memories like you a lot of you guys like. You know, it's like, like, like I was on the playground and Rock Hudson died of AIDS, and the, the, like the the two things that happened were just a huge avalanche of horrible, horrible jokes. Just like that's how I most remember it in my brain is like the ten thousand awful, uh, even by then standards, let alone today, is like horrible, horrible jokes about this guy Rock Hudson that none of us had ever heard of because we were kids on a playground. But it's just like Rock Hudson this, Rock Hudson that, Knock Knock who's there, Rock Hudson's gay, it's the underwear, and stuff like that. It's just like everything. And it was really, there was just gay jokes because yeah. no one understood what AIDS was or what it meant. I, I remember a bunch, and I won't repeat them because they're terrible. Yeah. So, so it was like, it was that, 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 it's like, it's, it's, it's a sad, wistful kind of story because you remember like this guy, like, it's, it's it, like, like you kind of wish that he could have known because obviously he went out fighting and scared. And probably ashamed, probably deeply ashamed. And like to think, you know, he's like he's sort of the Randy Quaid in the uh, Independence Day. Like, like it's like I'm like like he's he's his he, because everyone acknowledges historically and in fact academically that like Rock Hudson showing up on the radar at that time managed to nudge the meteor that could have destroyed so much more yeah. you know a little bit out of its trajectory it's that people had to start talking about it there was no choice left anymore and so all all that leads to dollars and cents going and and, and you know whatever um so it was a, it was a weird day i think for a lot of people cuz ronald reagan's long dead and it was like nancy reagan died and she was actually kind of a I mean, she, she, so it, was a, it was a weird day for a lot of people with a lot of gay friends who died back then uh, because we were sort of in a, in a, and then and now she's dead and it's like, do you spit if you're a 55 year old gay guy? Do you go like, fuck you? I hope, I hope it, I hope it hurt <laughs> when you died. Stop me if I've mentioned this before on the show, but like I, like 20 years after I was in the King and I, I went and met the leading lady uh, who was, you know, was 20 years later. So now I'm like three feet taller, and I was 11 when I last saw her. And I was 31, and she was 41 when I knew her. And now she's 61, and we met with a great talk. And at one point, I said like, "How is so and so?" And I mentioned all the uh, the dancers, and she's like, "They're all gone." And, and all, I said, all of them? I go, what about so-and-so? What about so-and-so? They're like, they're all dead, Jeff. They all died like a few years later. And I said, the only dancer in the show that wasn't dead was the only straight guy that was married to one of the women dancers. She goes, everybody else is gone. And she goes, also, that's just one show. She goes, all of Broadway died. Like, and and not, not just our dancers, but engineers and artists and, you know, like doctors and like a huge generation. And I, I, I re- I, I'm not the first person to say this or put this... Uh, theory out there but I think the idiocracy that we're living in right now and the, 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 the candidates that are running to rule the world right now 
I think a lot of it, we never recovered from a, a giant generation of smart people d- dying, like at, like at once. Like in the same way that England never quite recovered from all of its, you know, intelligent men all, all dying in two wars over a couple generations. And you don't, you don't get a Churchill anymore. You get Cameron and those fucking dick wads. You say, Je- Jeff saying Churchill was gay, which I think that's cool, but Churchill, you're, you're going to get flack for that. Churchill, oh, could he suck a dick. Uh, that's why he loves cigars. He was practicing the whole time. They the, named the church a cigar after him because it was the most like a dick. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself and insert stereotype and, about curtains or prosciutto or something like that. <laughs> yes. yes. I bracketed it. Yes. I'm not fucking... The whole, the whole quote was, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself and terrible Hello Dolly revivals. Right. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's bring out uh, 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 Rob Schraub. Oh, yeah! So right before I walked out on stage, he he let me know I left a T-shirt that he gave me last week. I, I didn't. No, I, I I just want to say if you don't want it, I'll I'll give it to somebody who. Is wants that where you're it. sitting so far? Are you sitting far away from him? And, and, I sit here every week. <laughs> didn't we agree that for camera it's better that he sits closer to there? Didn't I agree that I want to sit over by you? Guys, <laughs> why do we? Wh- wh- oh, Shit, my. Why do we even have rehearsals, Rob? Why do we come to rehearsal? All right, you so, guys don't know this, but we, we do tech rehearsals, dress rehearsals. We do a cue to cue rehearsal right before you guys get in here. So are you guys ready to learn a new thing that I've learned in therapy? Yeah. Yes. What? Oh, you guys too? Uh, the certainty. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I have an overreactive mind and a hypervigilant mind and an easily startled mind. These are things that I've learned in therapy. There are symptoms of, uh, you know... Like, like when I said you had nice hair and you freaked out. So. Well, I, uh, I protected myself. <laughs> From a compliment. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Don't, don't overreact. I'm not, I'm not going to, and here's why. Okay. Certainty. So, c- certainty... Whenever I so my I, I've, my therapist has told me, and I've already fucked it up like three times since she prescribed this, but at least I've noticed. Whenever I'm certain of something, I need to look at that as a warning sign. Okay, what are you certain that, of right now? I, I'm nothing, man. Well, like g- nothing. G- give, us not a, give us a, nothing. Give us a for instance. What's something that yeah, you can think yeah, of? Yeah, I don't get it. Well, doesn't like, make any sense. Well, like if you're certain, if you if so, if somebody says like, nice nice hair, your hair looks nice, and you're certain that they're making fun of you, right. then it's like, like it's before. See, what, I used, what if no one says that to you ever? <laughs> well, so what, it doesn't matter. You could you could become certain of something like like. Shh, oh, I. I <laughs> Rob, this Why is, is this tear an ice? What, what is that? It's a, it's a dune tube. It, it blew up his thigh. Oh my God, his tear blew up his thigh. He has a. Sl- it didn't blow up my thigh. It was slow mo, slow mo atomic bomb tears. Yeah. Uh, you could become certain of something sitting in your apartment alone. True. Yeah, the, and probably that's actually. Pe- talking to people is the. Probably the. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. It, it's the it's the surefire way to become uncertain, and we kind of fight that because we get rewarded for it. We think, or we you know we stay safe. We go like this motherfucker trying to tell me that I want my bun toasted. <laughs> I've been eating this breakfast sandwich for nigh on to five years. I ain't never got the bun toasted. This motherfucker trying to tell me I'm opposing. He's trying to upsell me, and then you go like, let me guess, toasting the bun costs more, and they're like. No, just 
thought you might like the we're bun try- toasted. We're trying to make it nice for you. Psycho. Right? And you're like, and then you look back and you go, oh, I was certain of something. The if if, if you if you if you had the same amount of information going through your head, you could just as easily go, oh, and does it cost more to have the bun toasted? It's the information you need. So up speak. <laughs> Look, this isn't for everybody. <laughs> it's, she specifically want... said, like, what other people need to be can need to have more confidence in their certainty than you do. She said to me, like who? I like anybody but me. I don't know. Did she name names? What? <laughs> don't you guys go to the same therapist? Well, Troy and Bob and Eric. Do you Why guys would go, you do... name eight billion people instead of just saying that focusing was three. on three? Dan, what are you certain about right now? <laughs> Rob is undermining the show. No. No, I'm going to make a conscious effort not to do that because I, I listen to the show and, I, and I, I, I've been bad and I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want I don't want to cause pain, especially you. And I don't, you know, I'm, I'm just, I have questions and I, I just don't get answers very often and, you know. Right. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure it out, like the rest of y'all, man. I'm trying to get home. I'm like, you know, I'm like Bill Paxton in Tras- Trespass, man. I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get, a, trying to make it by, like everybody else, man. You know, I'm trying to make it by. I'm trying to make it by like everybody else. Is make it by a saying? Is that I'm a trying to make it. I'm trying make, to make it by like everybody else. Yeah. I think you're, you're trying to convince us that trying to make it no, by I'm is an actual it, I'm saying. To, I'm trying to make it by. Uh, every, Hitler tried to make it by. I'm trying uh, to make it by. Uh, it doesn't even matter no, if it did or not. I'm like, trying like, to make it by like everyone Hitler else. Hitler didn't try to make it by like everybody else. Yeah. He tried it in a very specific yes, way. That's the difference. <laughs> No, but everyone tries to make it by, and right. some people think by. six million Jews are in I'm their just, way. I'm just trying to make it. No, he thought he thought a, a lot more Jews were in the way. He he, he fell short of his mark. <laughs> that's that's an important thing to to settle. <laughs> I guarantee you, when Hitler was in the bunker and he's about to blow him, him and his dog and his girlfriend or n- newly. But w- w- the dog wife. was like, "What? The fu- I just yeah, I like, I'm just a dog." I wait, just wait. got here. What? Yeah. Am, what I got to go to? Gotta, they tried the cyanide out on the dog to make sure the cyanide worked. They, they didn't want to do some bogus cyanide because oh. he was so paranoid that he thought maybe somebody gave me some Fugazi cyanide that's just going to make you go sleepy town. I'm going to wake up in a Russian jail. <laughs> and so he's like, let's make sure this is actual, not kill a dog, kill a Hitler cyanide. <laughs> and he killed his beloved dog. That he, one of the only things that, like, us, like, that we know that he liked was his dog. He but you it, he know, like, he had to th- he was thinking like that two birds with one thing. He's like, I want to kill my because he, he killed his whole family, right? So no, he, that was uh, Goebbels killed his whole family. He killed all the children and shit. Uh, uh, Hitler went in and killed David Braun himself, and but he tried it on the dog first. Oh. to make sure, and he really liked that dog. I think that was probably the hardest decision he probably ever made. He was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> A- Ava, why not Ava, Ava, you- Ava, give me a second. I, I know that in two minutes I'm going to shoot you in the head with my Luger, uh, but I don't want to make sure. I, I want to make sure that the cyanide we're taking, like, it's not just knock you and out. And Ava's like, you killed how many Jews? Give me a fucking break. Kill the dog. Kill the dog Fuck and let's. Yeah, the dog is your problem. Wrap it up. The, the here. dog he's worried about. Wrap it it's up. It's the dog man. he's worried about. Wrap it up. I'm just trying to get by, man. <laughs> Wrap it up. See, he just changed it. He used to be make it by. Now he's trying to get by. <laughs> wrap it up, man. Come on. Just wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. You, you think that, you if think... I vacuum this living room one more time, I'm going to kill myself. And you think they got in a big fight where she was like, she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm trying to get on the dog. And she's like, why? And he's like, because I don't want it to, 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 to have it turn out to, to hurt everybody or anyone to have to suffer. And she's like, oh, Mr. Anti-Suffering all of a sudden. <laughs> and then he's like, wait, what does that mean? And, and, and she's like, oh, come on. What do you think it means? Just give me the pill. And he's like, Just wait, no, I'm me. not killing us until you tell me what the fuck that meant. Because I came home and told you I want to kill the Jews. And you said, that's nice, sweetie. You said that's nice sweetie and don't you fucking turn your back on me now the Russians are at the door we, yeah. we are about to die are we on the same team or not yes. 
just give me the just give me the pill. Just give me the pill. It's important to me. Why doesn't anyone care about what's important to yeah. me? Hitler. Yes, do you know what a long day I've had? No one ever asks what I want. Uh, anyways. Yes. Uh, ah, I know. <laughs> Neat, neat. Maybe that was. You know what? Do you think Hitler had a certainty issue too? <laughs> yeah. I, so you yeah. think you have that in common? You said you said you're, it's eight billion other people don't have what you have, but you think probably Hitler too, right? <laughs> see, right? See, I just I just fl- felt a flash of certainty that you were my enemy, <laughs> and then I just let it float down a, a river like a lotus leaf. Dan- just be, uh, now just, I'm, not, just now because, I'm not certain anymore. Just because someone compares you to Hitler doesn't mean they're your enemy. Exactly. Uh, what do I know? <laughs> I, I know my uncle's ghost is here. <laughs> but that's not certainty. That's just my ghost-busting equipment. <laughs> All right, so the EKGs are uh, going up. Spencer, do you, do you relate to that certainty uh, issue, or do you, do you have a whole different kind of angle? Not with me, man, but I get what he's saying. It sounds like his therapist identified a pattern of self-defeating thinking and uh, tried to get him to uh, you know, identify it early on and intervene before it gets out of control. It seems pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> And it well, starts how about, with me. Yeah. How about that Ghostbusters? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I intentionally did not watch the trailer, even though everybody on Facebook and t- Twitter is trying to make me watch it. I don't want to. I don't want to know a single thing about it. I want to walk in cold to that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it. Trailers are dumb, man. Those buttons too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta want, stay off those hot. Buttons. I want it to be good because who doesn't want to enjoy something? <laughs> Well, I, 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 I feel that way well, about every trailer. I, I, I agree with that because, of course, we all want yeah. to have fun at all times. What if but you didn't agree I, with I, that? I didn't know that there was a Batman Superman movie coming out until my lift, this, this young Latina lift driver, she goes, So, are you excited about the, the, the new uh, Superman Batman movie? I'm like, I, I look up at a billboard, I'm like, Oh, I didn't know there was one. And she's like, I, I was like, I said, She goes, Are you going to go see it? I was like, You know, if everybody that I like says it's awesome, I'll probably go see it. If, if nobody says. It's great. I won't. I will never see it. And I go, who's playing? She goes, Ben Affleck is Batman. I'm like, not seeing it. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. Dumb. That just sounds super dumb. dumb. I just don't I, see how that. I could might ever see work. it if he never is Bruce Wayne and only has the mask on the whole time, so I never have to look at, at his dumb face. He's gonna, Ben Affleck. I know you listen to Harmon Town. You have a dumb face. <laughs> I guess I must be pickier because I was I was actually only picturing with the mask on and I was still like no he's gonna Bruce Wayne it up he's he's I guess he's he's mostly Bruce Wayne I think uh, the way they've been selling it yeah that's yeah Yeah. Yeah. is he gonna who's who's directing this one is it some jackass Zack Snyder Uh, okay Zack Snyder (laughs) never heard of it is uh do we know what the he was the lead singer of Twisted Sister is it gonna be a weird nipple nipple Batman or a yeah, it looks more like old school, like Frank Miller, Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah it's closer yeah. to that. Are you excited about it, Rob? You care about such Not things. Not really. Yeah. I still haven't seen Star Wars, Keychain. Me neither. Me neither. Me I, went, I, went, I went to Star Wars. My, I, uh, this is the, uh, the story's going to start off in a disappointing fashion. I had just done yoga and spin. And then I, as, as one does when you're on a health kick, I went straight to the drawing room to have drinks. And uh, then my friends said, hey, we have an extra ticket to go see Star Wars, because it was like the week after it came out. Do you want to come? I'm like, all right. So I was tired, and I, like, if, if you do yoga and spin, and you have three drinks, you're sleepy. So I fell asleep five minutes into that movie, <clears throat> and they had the 3D glasses on, and ever, after the movie was over, they had to wake me up like, Jeff, Jeff. I'm like, huh? I, I, I really five minutes in was asleep. It was a great nap, because you got great music, and the... <laughs> All these good music, and they're like, "Oh, we thought you were just really in the zone." Like you, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like, "I gotta go see this movie. I'm gonna go see it alone. I'm gonna be rested. I'm gonna be sober. I'm gonna watch this movie." This is Star Wars. Star Wars, and I, the, you're going back to see no, Star no, Wars the, a second the, time. No, no, this is. I, I'm, I'm saying to myself, the next week, I'm like, "Okay, I gotta go back and see that." I had a dream. I had a dream, or I went. 
to the Vista Theater in Los Feliz and saw Star Wars, fell asleep in it. <laughs> fell asleep in your dream? Fell asleep in my dream. And then my dream, my dream was about the dreams I had while not watching Star Wars. So I'm like, this movie's got to be boring. Mm. <laughs> Jeff, you know, we're already impressed by you. You don't have to tell us. Your, dream, your dreams don't have to be special. Dan, your certainty is really bumming me out right uh, now. All right. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, you, so you're, you're bu- well, here's why you're upset right now. Here's why you had to undercut me. It's because my not seeing Star Wars story is better than your not seeing Star Wars story. I, I'm going to wait. I saw it's coming in April. That's my story. You're right. What's coming in April? Star Wars. To so <laughs> iTunes. Oh, oh, you can watch it at home. Yeah, I'm just going to watch it on iTunes like I watch everything. I don't know about the society no more. What? <laughs> What's the last thing you watched on iTunes? Uh, I watched a. Uh, I watched the Omen. I just watched. Bo- well, I just tried to watch both versions of the Omen. I didn't know there was a Leave Schreiber version. I, wa- I watched. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, I was. My lover is a uh, is a writer and uh, uh, the research area. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and a director. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you don't have to talk about Rob in the third person. Down yeah, right there. I'm right here. Yes, I do. <laughs> Why would I talk to him in the second or first person? Yes, on the phone. <laughs> you are becoming me. I am Rob Schraub. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, oh, you know, you're saying your lover's a writer, and what? And we're watching uh, so movies in a certain category or uh, yeah area. You're, movies you, about you're, omens. You're, say what? Were they all movies about omens? I heard. I heard this. Anybody hear this? Anybody yeah. hear hear what I'm about to say? Yeah. I, I, uh, I really hope you just did, did like a okay. really good bird call. I hear they're having like. <laughs> Like like Six Flags or, or theme parks are, are are fitting people with virtual reality headsets and stuff, and then you like go on a roller coaster and but it you're on a spaceship and you're flying okay. around and stuff. I, I want to do that. That kind of is pretty cool. I hate roller coasters, but I think that'd be good. I love roller coasters. Also, if you if you call them roller coasters, it makes them way better. <laughs> Either way, I don't yeah. like them, but I'd go. Oh. I'd do that. Have you been on X at Magic Mountain? No, I don't like them. It's fucking good. Oh, good. I, yep. I, Dave oh. Klein, I love you, brother. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it? Why? You, 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 I don't you, like. You're it. gonna make chocolate poopies? No, I just don't don't like. You, you afraid that you, when you go on a ride, you're gonna make chocolate poopies? No, I don't. I don't like roller coasters. Is, is, I, don't, is, is, I, don't, I don't. I don't like theme no, parks. I'll explain it to you. Is this weird patronizing tick he has? Uh, the last time I heard that, I was in a car driving home with him in an airport, and my ear hadn't popped, and I was in agonizing pain. And I, got, I, I and I said once between the baggage carousel and fucking home, uh, I said, I said, God damn, my left ear still won't pop. And he went, You gonna make chocolate poopies? <laughs> I'm like, wow, your relationship with need is so fucked up that even I can see it. That's crazy. And he just did it to you right in front of me. Wait, like, it sounds, like, like, sounds, sounds like you're both about to make chocolate poopies. <laughs> Spencer, you're not about to make chocolate poopies. I can tell by I'm, looking at you. That's very kind of you to say. I would, <laughs> I would agree. I, I just call him like I see him, Dan. Spencer and I hung out last night. <laughs> Yeah, do do any of those guys listen to Harmontown? Uh, what? And Rob invited a bunch of weird people over. <laughs> He's like, We're, I'm having some friends over, and just a bunch of weird fucking people they're show not up. Weird. <laughs> they're too too nice guy. I didn't say direct. mean people. I said weird people. All right. Well, it was like two, two editors from Lego and, yeah, and bad Callie's news. boyfriend, and we just I okay. know. Tell me about it. It's all all bad. All bad. <laughs> We, know, we watched well. this movie. It was great. What was it called? Demons. 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 Oh man, see demons. Something or was it? I can't explain it because it's just a bad movie, and explaining a bad movie just sounds terrible. Ah, the f- bad is in quotes. Harmon, I, n- I never saw the other omens. I, only, I love the first one. Is great. Are, the other, is there, are there more than two? Well, there's the omen. 
with Gregory Peck, and then there's the yeah. Omen Two, where I believe it's Sam Neill is Jason playing, Bateman. It, yeah. Is uh, is a grown up Damien, and he's just like president and stuff. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, we gotta kill Jesus when he gets born, and everyone's like, we're trying, boss. <laughs> And it's somehow a three act movie, but that's all that happened. I fell asleep. We we tried. I I, I, I think I fell asleep uh, doing that. I fell asleep. Do, I tried watching that. I think yeah. probably with you. Hey, I is uh, so I don't want to put I don't want to put this person on the spot if they're like a I'm spot standing right here. Person. I'm gonna, so I'm going to go with your first name first. I'm going to say your first name. If you think there's a reason, what like 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 Justin Roiland told me you're here. Is William here? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, all right. Hair trigger. Okay, so are you? A, are you? I, all he told me is that you're here. He didn't tell me whether or not you might be willing to come up. Are you willing to come yes. up? Okay, well, come up, come up, come up, and I'll introduce you. Are you? No, you're. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 it'll be it'll be interesting if it turns out to be the case. But I guess <laughs> that process didn't really filter out the possibility of you being a lying sociopath. <laughs> You could just be a guy that goes, yeah, as soon as... Well, I am a lying sociopath, but also... Well, what's your last name? Pew. Yes, and you are the creator of of one of the most amazing video games in the world, The Stanley Parable. Uh, The co-creator. Co-creator. Oh, right. Yeah. And you're you're visiting from the UK, so yes, yes. Do you, do, so you you've never been in front of a crowd, maybe that that, that you've never the you never this size. It's very small there. Are you? Are you is it like, it's just a little island, right? Yeah, yeah. But no, but you must have been a you, you you you. It's a critically acclaimed game, and it's like it's 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 amazing. So you've been in front of adoring people before. Yeah, yeah. Everyone huh? loves yeah. me. You know. <laughs> Uh, well, so, to, well so, wait, so are you an indie? So you said you co-created it. Who's the other mm. person? Uh, Davy Reedon. Okay. A girl? Uh, no, uh, Davey is... Oh, I thought you said Debbie. A, oh, no, I wish. God oh, well, damn it, this close to fucking applause. <laughs> close. Um, uh, so, so, so j- j- just the two of you, partners, like, 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 what's the expertise on both sides? Uh, yeah, so Davey was uh, the main writer, and then I kind of did a lot of script editing, and then I also did the design of it. So the Stanley Parable is this amazing uh, indie game. Wait, 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 so, but well, like, like before I explain it to them, because I don't fully understand what happened. Did you go to Valve? And uh, no, so uh, we we made the game, and then we talk we talked to Valve, and they just publish it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fucking amazing! So, is that, uh, but then they were able to weave in, weave it into. It's, it's, it's aesthetically, it kind of matches the. the oh the, the yeah. Myth. Well, we we were poor, so we just stole all their assets. Oh okay. Yeah. And they just and they just kind of licensed it outright and just yeah, threw yeah. it out to the public. That's awesome. Those guys are great. Um, the uh, he he made this amazing critically acclaimed video game where you. you <sighs> look at these guys. <laughs> what I'm explaining to you guys. I, I, I'm 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 into it. Hello. What's your, what's your what's your name by the way? William. <laughs> William what? Pew. Pews? Pew. Oh, Pew. Yes. William Pew. You already insulted, you know, all of Britain, you know? I was, I was upset I, by I that. insulted Churchill. Yeah. No, I know. No, Basically no, no, all no, of I, Britain. Actually, I said, I insulted Cameron. I like yeah, Churchill. He is a, yeah, fuck him. Yeah. He's <laughs> shit. Yeah. He's a pig fucker. <laughs> he didn't fuck it. He just put his dick in it. <laughs> um... All right. So, anyways, it's it's an amazing video game. You you never and you never. Uh, there's no. There's no. Somebody's given birth to a hemorrhoid. Am I? Like, <laughs> it's 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 like a third person shooter. Go for it. And then, uh, <laughs> but there's no shooting, and you just walk through this thing, and it's based on the narration. There's a VO that keeps explaining about you in the third person. Voiceover. That stands. <laughs> Stanley did this and Stanley did that, and there's and so you're coordinated with the voiceover up until a definitive point where there's like the a red, a red door and a blue door, and then it says so it's it's been telling you Stanley looked around the room. Well, there's nothing really to do but look around the room. Stanley walked down the hall. Well, there's only a hall you could walk down, but there comes this definitive point early in the game where there's a red door and a blue door. I'm 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 paraphrasing. I don't know if it's literally that. I can't remember. But and then the voiceover says Stanley thought about it for a moment and then walked through the red door. But you can do either thing, and so you have to. To decide right in that moment, am I going to keep doing what the voiceover says that I'm doing, or am I going to definitively do the opposite? What did you do? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's That's, a, it's, it, it puts you in that experience, and, you, and every choice that you make has like this tree of... Is it a console game or an app game? Or It's a PC and Mac. All right. Yeah. And, and what is the... What, and there's a tree in it? A, a, a tree of logic. Yeah. 
How old are you? You look 11. I'm 22. Jesus Christ. So, so twice 11. So what is... So, so, so when That's did how they you, say 22 in England there. I'm, I was I'm, I'm twice 11. You were 19 when you made it. Yeah. But when do you start? So as you, you, must, you must have been like a little lima bean when you started getting interested in computers and yeah, things. Yeah, I used to be a plant... But now, uh, to, what, what's your earliest memory of interfacing with a computing machine? When uh, did you germinate? I think when I was ten. Like uh, I learned Flash for like animation and shit. Uh huh. So I, like you started. That's when you, you started coding. When, yeah, yeah. When you when he was twice five. <laughs> uh, I, like those, I like those Chelsea boots you got on there, man. Oh, those, thank those, you. Those are those are swinging. Oh. Where'd you get them? Get England? a room. Leeds. 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 Oh, they got fucking good boots up in oh, Leeds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you from Leeds? No. I'm near there, but even where I'm from, people don't know where I'm from. So why would you? I was, I, I, what, what, this is, this what, goes nowhere. This conversation goes I'm nowhere. I'm just trying to give him a I'm, shot. What, 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 where are you from? What, what part of England are you I from? I am from a small village called Triangle in West Yorkshire. Triangle? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, it's named after the shape. Oh, so, oh, so you're a northerner. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're from way up north. Pardon? You're from way up north, then? Uh, yes, yes. Do you know Ilkley Moore Bartat? No. Yes, you do. I'm my, I don't know, I wasn't at... I, it's a song. I'm, oh, I yeah. thought it was a place. It's a Yorkshire song. Oh. Okay. Can we please talk about video games okay. now? <laughs> Carmen Sandy fucking ego! <laughs> Someone's making chocolate poopy. <laughs> So, it's a it's a relatively short period of time since the first day that you started interfacing with a machine and realizing that you could do more than just consume what it was checking out at you, and you could make it do what you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Around ten years old, between nine years later, you're mm -hmm. creating a, a video game that if a middle aged man uh, had come up with after decades and decades of interfacing with machines, they would have been very very proud of. Not to mention a middle aged woman. Don't fucking write letters. <laughs> Uh, the the but but like so what's what's uh, like, I, I, I'm not, I want to ask you a couple things first. But there's a tree of things that I could ask you as a kind of parable. Um, <laughs> but like I, I so what what is, when you like I, the, 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 I think the thing that makes it critically acclaimed is that it, it has it has a distinct style, a distinct uh, mm -hmm. a, a voice. It's like it's it's a it's a video game that has it's 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 it's, a, it's like a film that's directed and yet you're interacting with it. Mm -hmm. So which of you and your partner are wh wh who's got this like weird passion for subverting the entire uh, like that was both of us, I suppose. Like um. Yeah, you don't want to throw him under the bus and yeah, say, yeah, he's no, the nuts I mean, and bolts no, guy. he did a lot of very important work. But it was all me, you know, that's the important thing. But yeah, hire me. Um, Pardon? What? I mean, does this represent, are we getting a glimpse, since you are so young, are we getting a glimpse at something that you wish had you the resources? Like, what, do you, can you, like, do you, is this what you want to keep doing? Is this just yeah, the beginning? Yeah, yeah, I've, I employ people now to do yeah. that for me. So and so and so, what's what's your what's your vision of like the ultimate video game? Are you excited about VR? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here to work on a VR thing with Justin. Actually, yeah. all right. I wish he would have told me about that. But Voice no, rover. Um, <laughs> wait, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't I, it was good, but, but don't go back and look at it. All right, okay. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Are you going to move to the stage? Nah. Nah. I think it's, it's too dry. Nice. It's too dry here. It's well, it's sunny. A, it's a desert. There's a whole states. Yeah. You could, you could move to Portland. You'd be like yeah. working with slickers. I or... don't know anything about Portland. Hmm. It's, it's like England, but it's oh. connected to a giant America. Man. So you can like... You're, it's like there's a land bridge to the rest of... <laughs> I don't know. Some people find it convenient. I, 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 England seems it looks like I get claustrophobic. It seems very small. How, how did it, how did it start? You like what was the beginning of that? Had you already worked on games before? Uh, yeah, I'd done stuff called mods. So like you um, you take a game that already exists exists like Half Life or whatever, and then you just change things. You make things out of the already existing parts, right. and you move it about, and that's. That's what I did for a while. What kind of mods did you make? Are they just uh, unofficial, just for your own things? Or did you uh, yeah, I mostly anything? made maps for Team Fortress 2 and awesome. Left 4 Dead. Okay, cool. Also, you weren't, you weren't an employee of, of, of the, the game manufacturer. Oh, no, no. You were just doing it on your own. No, I don't think it was legal for them to employ someone that uh, young. Oh, really? 
Uh, no, no. Oh, like, so it was were, yeah, it was my first job. Oh, so you were what under eighteen then? Or? Yeah, I, I I started working on it when I was seventeen, and then I it got released when I was nineteen. So then you, then you had you you learned the skills that you needed to make your own game. Are you coding the whole thing? You're doing it all yourself. Uh, there's not that much coding. I don't know how to code. All right. Yeah. So you you just come up with the concept of a game then? Uh, yes, yes, and um and then using the tools that you get to. That and you go in like like you're pitching a TV show. You pitch that here's a game idea I have, and you pitch it to this larger company. That like you're... usually, how it works is a rev share, and you get the people on the team that you need to like make it, and then you just split the revenue. Wow, yeah, great. Do you, you have another game in the works? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, a couple. Cool, that's great. Yeah. Is it all? Uh, and obviously, you're gonna tell me if there's something you don't want to say out loud. But is it all 2D or all VR? The, your next project? Um. We've got two. One is 2D and one is VR. <laughs> uh, and uh, pretty funny. Tell me every. <laughs> funny, funny bit. <laughs> funny bit there. <laughs> I've got two of them to the idea. That's hilarious. <laughs> I do want to know what that guy was laughing yeah. at. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not let's not cross the line into full no, 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 shaming no, no, no. him about no, no, it. No, no, no. No. But I, I no, would, no, no. sir, sir. I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look down and close my eyes. If you want to just call out, maybe what what it was that was amusing you. His reaction. His the 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 William's reaction. Yeah. Like, how, like how did I react? Oh, good. Something that's. There's several yeah. layers. No, it's okay. We don't, we don't it. want to brew. He's it. just having a great time at yeah. your show. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Yeah, I come like, on. Yeah, hey, guys, guys. What is wrong Nobody's with attacking you? Make him. sure you guys are laughing for the right reason. Yeah. <laughs> no, Stop this fucking wrong laughing. You. Wrong laugher. You're a wrong laugher. Wrong. Unreal. <laughs> guys just want to ha- has a good time. He's just trying to make it by. Just trying to make it by. <laughs> Trying to make it by. <laughs> this is the only happiness in his life. And you make fun of shame. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that'll save everything. Keep it going. <laughs> Did you just vodka shame Dan right now? <laughs> Our show runs on vodka. That's that's the gasoline. William, do you do you think that mankind needs to be governed? <laughs> Here we go. Depends what you mean governed. How do you mean governed? Not in a hot way. Like, All uh, right. Not like a harness. <laughs> I mean, just like like told told what to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah so Why do you people keep calling each other governor? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I mean, come let's, on. Let's, let's take the gloves be, off. Let's take the gloves off. Governor. Yeah. Y'all can't be governor, right? All right? Ding, ding. We were all thinking it. And come on. Oh, wait, I get it. Why do you now. people oh. are going, good morning, governor, good morning, governor? You can't all it's be a governor. Sh- it's a term of respect. <laughs> okay, oh, oh. all right. Okay. He shut you down right fast. Yeah. <laughs> I could have got there by myself. Yeah, it's called respect. It's like, yeah. Right, okay. All right. <laughs> But can't you also say like you, you can use it ironically call somebody gov when you're like you're making like you're not respectable? No, you're... no one actually says it. No, no. It's, uh... <laughs> but you knew what I was talking I mean, about. It's but a stereotype, they, they, like they, how they, we they... say all Americans are idiots. You know, it's not. Uh, no, but you. It's, it's you not know, true. You, you, that's actually not a stereotype. No, that's it's... true. <laughs> that's that's it's it's not an absolute truth, but it's 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 heavily backed by like yeah a the, lot of the research. last hundred years. It's it's an it's an allowable statement is what it is. I, I do love. Uh, I mean, are you, do you you live in London, William? Nope. No. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. All right. Triangle. In trying. Triangle. Yeah. Le- triangle. New yeah. Yorkshire. Uh, yeah. I, okay. He said triangle. He lives triangle. in triangle. Why, why is it called triangle? Because uh, that's what they called it. <laughs> why do they call it Los Angeles? It's in the shape of a triangle. It's, it's because the city is actually come on, it's, you a, guys, it's a village. Yeah, it's because they crush all the puss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, they don't call it anymore. It's, 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 they don't, they the call, they just call it crushing puss in England. Then uh, no, I'm saying we I'm translating it to you guys. Governor. Thank you. <laughs> We, we we govern all the puss. We govern all the puss, governor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome to the pink triangle where we govern all the puss. 
So have you achieved? Uh, how, how, where, 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 were you born? Uh, were you low born, high born, mid born? I was low mid born. Low mid born. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my low mid born friend. <laughs> I'm representing you. Ha- have you have you have you have you changed much on yeah, that scale? Yeah. It's like yeah. so. How does that money come in? It's like so. Valve. Uh, so they take a cut, then we split it down depending and on. And they just like, treated it like a publishing house, like and it was your book, and they yeah, published like it they don't they, even like do any services like that. They just put it on their site. Was it strictly one hundred percent on uh, Steam? Uh, yeah, yeah. And and, and and so and just like like you're you're rich, rich. Would yeah, you call yourself yeah. rich? Yeah. What do you drive? I do don't drive. drive. <laughs> What's that? I don't drive. I don't drive. Yeah. Me neither. But I'm not rich. I have people. Yeah. People I was just wondering. I just wanted to hear like an Aston Martin or something. I don't know what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. It's so tiny there. You could walk. You can walk everywhere. Yeah. You just. Yeah, you could walk like, to all I'm four br- points. I'm in <laughs> four. All four, four <laughs> points. All right. All right. All right. Of the triangle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I messed he, up. He doesn't live in square. <laughs> Oh, that's I what I got. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. I really got it wrong. I didn't even realize. I thought everyone was laughing at like a a United Kingdom joke. No, that, no, no. That I was like, "Fuck, I'm, I'm like dumber than I thought." No, like, no, 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 no. I guess I guess England's famous for its seven points. No, no. Like, like, like with the. I screwed up. I'm so. so- Right. I got a little stoned before the show. So. You did too? Actually, yeah. Why um, are you stoned? I'm not stoned. Hey, no. you guys. Why? Come on. Hey, what? I'm talking to my... <laughs> I'm talking to mine. <laughs> All right, fine. Do you... Okay. Fine, Let's fine. Go. We'll both right, podcast at the same time. <laughs> yes, William? Do you have to be a U.S. citizen to Rob, get a medical... Rob, what is your secret for your uh, I'd, amazing I'd, buttermilk I'd, biscuits? California residents. Because you make a buttermilk a biscuit thing right that is now, so right. Yes. savory, <laughs> So flaky, do people tell you delicious, Young Jim Burton a so lot? Yeah. 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 Delicious. Do you use actual buttermilk? Um, I, I I try not to use <laughs> milk, but I, I, I can't I'll come use like... No, you like, can do it. I believe in you. Have jam. you ever met Richard Branson? You put jam Honey. on it. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh... I don't even but think I demand it to um, be toasted. It's not good. Oh, how should I do What happened with Argentina? Like it's, it's always uh, a thing on Pink Floyd like albums, no but I never clue. Okay. 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 Um, I can't hear my podcast. Just talking about. Saying, <laughs> I feel like we should be charging people double for that, double for this show. Yeah, well, this is twice the podcast. Uh, it's, it's twice podcast. Uh, uh, <laughs> Spencer, do you do you, do you do you have any do you have any questions about about Spencer? Spencer do you have any table magic tonight? Oh, oh yeah. Do you got uh, any? Does anybody have a... a Why do you have a table? It's... Why do you have a table? Because the other you table's don't put in the shop. On, you don't put it... Is it just for your water bottle? Yeah. Why does he have a table? Well, I don't you, request you, a you're table. You're going to use some close Because event. he used to roll dice on it, and that stopped three years yeah. ago. And he said, let's... <laughs> I know one thing. Let's keep the table... <laughs> Because we're too lazy to change our writer. <laughs> It'd be weird to have Spencer sitting in a chair down there. Yeah. We have the same watch. We have the same watch. Oh, oh shit. Oh, the, the the Milanese loop. Wait. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Do you, what do you, you think? Of, what do you think of the Apple Watch? Uh, well, this isn't on. It's merely a fashion statement. Uh, I can't yeah. be asked to charge it. Just to have one in your pocket, or you well, say- I was wearing it, but it annoys me. The strap yeah, I, it me catches too. in your arm has. Yeah. It? Yep. Yeah, yep. fucking awful. It's a well, watch. It's like, oh, you put an iPhone on my wrist. It reminded me that I was so happy that watches didn't have to be a thing anymore. And, yep. <laughs> I don't know. I keep giving it a shot, though. I keep feeling like, oh, see, there's a do you text. Do, do you do the, like, stand up every fucking ten times a day thing on it? He's uh, supposed to. That, 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 I want to turn that back on. I turned it off, but, mm. but I find myself going like this a lot because... Oh yes! Because there's a text that I'm holding. I think I'm like Sarah and Erica nailed it. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Because you're because you're usually holding a drink in your other hand. Yes. <laughs> that's great. Oh, you, oh, you, I, I, yeah, that's, that's good. You, you, your, your, your nose works like a finger. I love that. <laughs> it's dumb, though. You know what? Yeah, take it off. I'm glad I Just met you take tonight. it off. This, is, this goes right here. Fuck it. Right in my pocket. Nice. In case I meet someone else that has an I, uh, uh, Apple Watch, and then I'll pull it out of my pocket. Uh, all right. So you got rich. Uh, yeah. You're really young. Uh. Are you afraid? Are you afraid of the burnout? Uh, no. Nah, now you just get other people to burn out for you. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? What's the burnout? All the, you've yeah. not heard of the burnout? All the mad puss. Well, burnout's a game. Uh, for the PS2 called ah. Burnout. Right. And it's about cars, and it's famous because all of the development team died. Oh. Uh, like at, at once in a yeah. plane crash or what? No, 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 no. They, um, they, had to, they had to, like, launch it in a really short amount of time because of publishers and stuff. And so um, what happened was um, uh, they had to, like, do crunch, which is, like, you work, like, 16 to 20 hours a day, and... Um, and what happens is uh, they did that for like six months, and then at the end, like uh, within like a year, all of them had died. Of just, oh, like, very is that yeah, 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 yeah. Really? They call it the yeah. burnout. Is that yeah, that's is, why, that's, is that real? Is no, that real? no, it's no. Okay. <laughs> I felt like I felt like you were you were hoping there were more video game industry people in the audience because at the point where you said they had to do crunch, and you're like cricket, cricket, fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is the burn? Why why would you be afraid of the burnout? Because uh, it's like it's like um, it's like they say um, I don't know prostitutes have like five good years you know, oh. and it's it's like it's like that with with coders because you just work so you work right. crazy hours all the time. Oh, and then the, you, just, oh, oh yeah, you yeah. actually you 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 mentally burn out. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. I got you. And it's un- Pro- I think I, I, the prostitutes I know have been been in the business for decades. <laughs> Perhaps I, you should start seeing other prostitutes. <laughs> Oh, snap! <laughs> Do not tell me how to have a good time, William. I'm sorry, that was... Are there, uh, are there any... Uh, do, do, do you ever... Uh, do role-playing, like... Uh, Sexual. Well, what, yes, let's go to that right now. Um... Sometimes, I guess, like um. Do you do that I'm, voice when you? When yeah. What? Well, what well, going up? Yeah. Like uh, yeah. If it, if the situation calls. For are, you it, a, they, are you in a are you in a monogamous relationship? Or are you a single? Uh, no, I'm I'm just all about fucking. <laughs> now you, again, it, it's one of these moments like where people that listen to the podcast for free, that this, for five dollars you can watch this podcast. I feel like people need to know that we have a sexy twenty-two-year-old Russell Brand game nerd. <laughs> And you're really robbing yourself right now because uh, they're, they're, pay the money. Yeah, you, you, you can hear ovaries rattling in here right now. <laughs> ovaries aren't supposed Hello, to rattle. Ovaries. <laughs> well, it's, they're, they're not. They're not supposed to. Yeah, it's, no. it's when they get able to rattle that they get the most. That's that's like. <laughs> It's it's like a rattlesnake, like a, like it's like like it's a yeah. yeah it's a warning. I, it's a warning. Um, well, it's a warning or an invitation, depending on. All right, so the uh, well, role I, I do, well, I do want to talk. I don't so, want, so you're all about fucking. Wait, uh, hold on. All right, you take role playing. We were it. talking because I because yeah. I was I was going to talk about D and D, but, I, but oh. then you said sexual role playing, but which I want to talk about. The so you said you're, okay. you're, you're, can we lower the lights? You're not a in a monogamous bit? relationship right now, and you're, nope. you're, you're 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 Roman and Bonin. New, coined it, coined it, coined it. Ha- hashtag Roman and Bowden. Uh, probably won't catch on. Not that. No, it's not that great. I love Ronan and Bonin's laughing. Did you ever see? I like when uh, well, the guy that would pop out and go, "Very interesting." Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Just give me a second, Classic. would you? Classic. I just want to make a good show. Ronan and Bonin's laughing. All right. We'll just <laughs> suck it. Two have go, you ever? Go. Have Talk you ever? Him. Have you ever like like uh, during like, like, like in a heated doesn't matter if it's a one night stand because who okay. cares what happens after but like the first night like you're with a person and then you're like in the heat of the moment like we're gonna do it we're gonna do it and have you ever done role playing in that I know you've never said we're gonna do it we're gonna do it yeah 
But but have you ever said I'm going to be a tennis instructor? Like like have you ever like 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 snapped into role playing like in that moment on the first, first night, first day? Yeah. Uh, this is a question I ask anybody. And that's not okay, because you're a game right. designer. <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot of the time people are bored by the answer of the question, yeah, what do you do as a job? I'm a game designer, and people aren't interested in that, so sometimes I just lie and say, oh, I'm an actor, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a construction worker. And then you have sex with those people and don't leave character as a construction yeah, worker. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. role-playing. Well, that's, that's catcher in the rye role-playing. That's, that's heavy-duty you, shit. You know, you know it's a good one I've used before? because like, if, if, if People don't believe you're a construction worker. My father owns the company, and I manage ah, them. Ah, nice. Them. Ah. Uh, I, that's the arms. I, I, yeah. I, like, I, I don't care anymore, but like when I was like... A, it's 9-11. It's 9-11. Or as we call it, Steel twice eleven. 11. It's twice what? eleven. What? Uh, I, 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 I get bored of like, like, like people. Say, oh, so what do you do? I got a bar, and I, and I like. I, you don't want to say you're an actor because then you go, oh, what have you been in? I, I don't want to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I did think I did a couple times. This is a good one for guys that are just terrible people. Uh, if you want to be a liar, uh, say you're a high school principal. <laughs> And fucking adhere to it. Say what school district you work for. And people are like, I've never done that. Why are you at a bar? I'm like, because I'm the principal, baby. I'm fucking. (laughs) Gotta blow off steam. My my high school principal didn't. Wasn't tall and like hang out at bars. And so, if you really want to do it, that that, high school principal sexy. But you have but to so, be, so your reward yeah. is you're either lying to a stranger the entire time, and then they never know, or at some point at it, they go like, "Come on, you're not, you you you've been lying to me, and I should not trust people in the future." And you're like, <laughs> I'm like "Just doing my part to toxify humanity." Like I, I, I just don't know. I can't. I can't picture what I was ever doing that. The first time I came to LA from Milwaukee, one of the first conversations I had at a bar because I was like, oh, in a bar, I don't know anybody. And in Milwaukee, you might just turn to the person next to you and go like, hey, how's it going? Like, uh, and they did it in LA. I made the <laughs> never made this mistake again. I was like, hey, how's it going? And the guy's like, eh, fine, fine. And I'm like, nah. So, I, so you, you're here to see the band? Uh, it's, y- yes. Uh, so well, what do you do? Uh, had no idea I was committing the fucking devil's uh, sin. If that's a new coined it, coined it. <laughs> and, and he and he and he said I silk screen T-shirts. And I and I said, oh, that's interesting. So where's the silk and the screen and the thing? And I'm like, I got a million questions about silk screening T-shirts. Ten minutes goes by, and then he goes, I'm just fucking with you, dude. <laughs> and I and I went I went back to my house and I wrote uh, movies. <laughs> and I never went out again. I was at a. I was at a bar that was nobody in with my ex roommate from years ago. That the, the place that you uh, live in, Rob. Uh, my ex uh, angry Irish roommate Paul, and uh, uh, he, he was angry. He was Irish and angry, and uh, but a great animator. And we we were out at a bar that was at three clubs. Nobody's in there, and we're just. I was like, can you do all? Because he was Irish, and I said, like, can you do all UK and Irish? Like, can you do regional dialects? He's like, I'm pretty good at it. So I go, give me like, give me like Aberdeen. Like Scotland, and he's like, and so he's doing like a Scottish accent. So I was trying to like mimic him and do it. So we're just hanging out at the bar, not for anybody else. There was nobody in there, and so we're just talking in like Scott. He's doing a perfect Scottish accent. I'm trying to do it too, and the bartender is there. He's heard us. He's heard me already speak in English, like American English, and he's heard this guy be Irish from Dublin. And now we're doing Scotland Scottish. Then the bar starts to fill up, and all of a sudden, girls just start gravitating toward us. And they go, "Oh, your accents are so cute!" And we, we and we're just doing it like as a joke. We think they're going to get their drink and fuck off, like go go back to their seat or whatever. All, so now there's this girl, and she's hanging out. And so we're doing our this is the way from I'm from Aberdeen. Uh, oh, like, what, what, how, how far is that from Edinburgh? I'm making it up. It's about you know it's about it's about fifty kilometers. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> I have no idea. And she's like, oh, that's so cute. And then she invites all, now her posse shows up. She invites all the other girls over. So now we're like, we've been talking to this girl thinking she was going to leave for five minutes. And then, and, then there's a, and then there's this really hot girl and she goes like, uh, would you, I really want to go home with you, but I just have to talk to my dad first. 
he's the minister of Stop. accent inspection. <laughs> and it's William Atherton and like fucking two wigs and so, so eight now, glasses. We feel bad. We don't want to tell this girl, oh, we were just fucking with you thinking this was a temporary bit that you were going to go away and not hang out with two dorks pretending to be Scottish at the bar. And so now there's five chicks hanging out and the bartender's looking at us like, you fucking turds. <laughs> He's just like, oh boy. And so now we're embarrassed, so now we're committing to it. But now because I'm doing it and like I, I'm getting better at it. And so <laughs> so we all leave. I th- okay, they finally they go away. And I thought, okay, boy, that was that, that took a lot Shoo, more effort. We almost fucked those girls. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dodge the bullet there. Oh my god. I know. They thought we were cute. I heard, I heard the ovaries rattling. I, was, I knew it was a warning. Shit. <laughs> Let's say your Scottish accent. Huh? How do you do it? Let, what's your, do your Scottish accent. Well, also, I, I had a Scottish girlfriend later on, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit better at it. But okay. no, no, I, at the time, not that good. I wouldn't say I'm perfect at it now, but I can do a bit of one. So I ended up seeing this girl. <laughs> you dodged that. Uh, I, I won't do it, mate. Oh, I will, mate. Oh. Didn't, didn't you wee chubby? <laughs> You scaffy wee twat. See, you see, usually in the UK, the 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 the, um, the order of pecking is just Scotland. Then, so I just feel immediately can, can, intimidated. Can you do one? <laughs> what, what I love about Scottish people is that, the, like, in, like in Japanese, like, like people get excited. You watch old Japanese films and they get excited. They go, Ooh, they get low. They get like they talk. They get guttural. Uh, in Scottish, if it goes, if it's sipping up here, we get real for sale. So I ended up seeing this goddamn chick. Every place I went for the rest of my life. <laughs> and, she, and so we, we, we spent an hour lying to her, and she would come in, and I'd be at a bar, and I'd, go, and I'd be with somebody, I'd go, oh, fuck, I'm Scottish. Hey, <laughs> how are you, lass? Ah, oh, good to see you again. Uh, and, she, and she would bring friends, or, oh, it's my friend from Scotland, he's from Aberdeen. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then, and then she had friends that were, had been to Scotland, they knew more about it than I did. It was a bummer. So finally, I was so finally, tired. She, she waxed it I'm saying a fucking year goes by where I would see her every eight days. Where, like, wherever I went, there was only like eight, five cool bars to go to back then. And, and so I would see her everywhere. Her name was Mouse. Or as I said, Moose. Uh, there was a moose loose about that hoose. So, yeah, if you're Scottish, you're not. So one day she comes in and I was so fucking tired of the charade. And I walk her and she goes, "Hey Jeff, how you doing?" I go, "Good. How are you doing?" And she's like, she kind of cocks like, "Well, she, I'm good. Like, how are things?" I'm like, "Things are great. <laughs> Just having a drink, doing my thing." She's like, "Where's your accent?" I said, "Look, I'm an actor, and my acting coach told me that." If you want to get roles, you can't just go in with a Scottish accent. So I'm prote- I, I have to practice my American oh, no. all the time. <laughs> well, hey, hang on. Uh, I, I, because I felt I, I, this is me trying to be a good person. I don't. Right. Really, I was fucking with for you some, the whole time. for some reason. That gets me closer to the mark than I. I, I, would, I would rather you do that. Yeah. So that. I, I, I'm I, trying to. Also, I'm hoping. I'm just going to move to a different state so this doesn't have to keep happening. <laughs> so I, I, I go, I'm, it's better to practice it all the time and that way, you, like when you go into the room, like you're, you're ready with your American dialect. And she goes, okay, well, say something. Like, like, like let's, let's hear your American accent. I go, what, what should I say? And she goes, I say, uh, I want a hamburger and fries. I go, I want a hamburger and fries. And she looks at me and she goes, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. All I, had, right. I since years later ran into her and told her the truth that, that the whole thing was. <laughs> and she's here tonight. And yeah. she's got a gun. She's got a gun. <laughs> no, she's dead. That woman's name? Nancy Reagan. Oh. oh. That's, that's, been, that's been our show. Good night. Drive safely, everybody. <laughs> Just say life's a circle. Uh, All right, back to role playing. Dan, weirdest role play for you? What's the funkiest, the most specific role play, the most complicated design, art department, like uh, setup, like like how much lead time did it have to have? I am not at liberty to discuss my sexual role playing because it's too hot. <laughs> Oh, are you afraid that we, point, that we we can't handle it? Is that hot? No, it's just too. Uh, I I I have discovered recently after you know after living my life going like I wish you know when I was on the playground it's like hey hey kid why 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 you get boogers on your jacket 
Well, 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 how come you how come you talk that way and walk that way and pee that way and throw a ball that way and, and write that way and talk that way and think that way? How can I smell that way and behave and all that way? Why are you doing why are you doing all those things? Why are you doing that? And I, I'd always be like, fuck, god damn, it's such a bummer. It all that happens and I'm like, fuck it, god damn it. I'm gonna make sure that the answer to that is always because I'm awesome. And I like like <laughs> I, I just like just getting more and more tastes of it and just go, going like, No, you're gonna fucking kneel before me and then I was like, Why well, is that the answer is gonna be why aren't you you doing this this way and that way the way and then along the way it was sort of like caught up in this sort of like well the 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 the, the, the big key to that is like public uh, you know spotlight transparency like there should be no barrier between uh your what, what's going on in your head and what's coming out of your mouth and what's going on behind closed doors and because that's everybody else's jam because they're all ashamed of themselves and they're all they're all terrible people they're shadow people and they want you to be merged with their shadows and you're just going to be honest and you're going to be who you are and you're going to flaunt who you are and they're going to not kill you and that that's when you're going to know you succeed so i spend my life like tricking people into situations where they're tempted to try to kill me so i can prove that they can't so i can be alive and consider myself a success and it's just this fucking syndrome and then i and i, and I was like you know and it culminated in a like like, like a, a a public relationship and i got married and it's like now i'm divorced and it was like we, we like like the, the, none of it matters are like and then I, and I, it's like and then i go like oh what if what if where you put your dick and what you did with it and what made it hard and when it came and where you you shot the cum like what if that was like kind of like I don't know what if there was a little bit of a box around that well, what if you made a box around here and what if what if everybody that you knew intimately like there was a box around them and it's like oh it'd be, I guess that would be called privacy and uh <laughs> And then you can like, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I wish, I, I, I want nothing more than to be able to tell people, like, like, what, like, what I get up to when I fuck. But it's, it's, the fact is, society couldn't handle it. And, and that's why I ca- I'm able to come. That's the only thing that could ever make me come. So if I told you, you'd be like, whoa. And then I'd be like, and then my dick would be like, meow. So then I'd have to go further. Like, and then I'd be like, I'm hard. And you'd be like, that's crazy. And I'm like, yep, it was. And then, so I, I'm, a, I'm in a sweet right. spot. That's I, good. Got, I got some tricks. I, I got I, some costumes. I, 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 I admire you, like, having that privacy for yourself. That's good. Yeah, 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 your sexuality, like, should be sexy, and it should be your own dirty little secret. I, I like go it. to criminal places. Terrible, <laughs> low, ethically horrible places. I'm not coming unt- until, until like, I, I hate well, that's crime not true. Been I can tell. I, 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 all the time. It's uh, you know, I just want to make sure because it's like, well, what if you're, what if you can only go to that place? No, but I'm saying like, like, like I, when I go, I go to terrible, terrible, dark, dark crevices of the human imagination. <laughs> B- because you're not but, supposed to. But with 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 somebody who's consensually into that too. No, God, no. Oh, Consent? Shit. No. No. Oh, oh God, no. Man. Jeff, that's the whole point. Uh. Yes, yes. <laughs> With the consent of good dolls. <laughs> uh, yes, but it's horrible and there's really no way it never wouldn't be horrible like it's like that's a, that's a thing it's like I can't, it's like, like like oh let's all live in this society where we all kind of talk about everything and every all the language is monitored and if you say this then you intend this but that's not really true because we know that the people that are really good at saying things right are some of the worst people in the world and then the, and then we're down here policing each other's language because we're so caught up in the idea of language being intent but we're still disguising it down here because when you get behind closed doors it's all about like it's it's like it's 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 thought and it's intent and stuff and it's like the way you treat each other it should be uh, I don't got nowhere to go with that but but <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of babysitter stuff that's the, sh- that's the short answer the short answer is the short answer is it's a lot of babysitter stuff <laughs> but you know I mean, it's beyond that I, okay do that's, you, the, that's the baseline. Have you ever Thanks dressed for up, taking care of my kids? Have you ever dressed up either yourself yeah, my or my wife's or working your, at the hospital? Have you ever dressed? Sorry. Have you ever dressed up as yourself or your leva, as you call her, uh, in period costume? Have you ever gone into a different era? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, the eighties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, my high school. Yes, okay, yeah, that's that's good. Uh, I like that. Uh, but uh, no, nothing, nothing, no dangerous liaisons, kind of like oh, right. Oscar-worthy stuff yet. 
<laughs> well, William, I can get you, into that. William, do you go into the costume realm or? Yeah, well, as an actor, what I get is oh, I right. get the. Um, I, I what, get, what, what, what's your What's your favorite film that you've been in? Oh, um, the Independence Day. All right. <laughs> See, we're, we're role playing right now. <laughs> the Independence Day. Yeah, the Independence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how did people in England like, uh, like that was a hit movie I'm assuming it was kind of a global like like somebody in London yeah, no. must have wanted to go see Independence Day well you were you were not born for 80 years <laughs> so I guess I'm not I should, I'm asking the wrong person but I'm just curious like they're like oh there's another big American explode up movie and it's like and then it's just like the <laughs> this is our Independence Day I'm like well it's, all right yeah rub I mean, it in I mean, can't, you... can't aliens attack and it not be we about used this to fucking rule thing you keep world. bringing up we used to rule the world down yeah. not anymore like those aliens yeah it, the aliens were a um allegory for the british but don't you think the British pilots? Because weren't there a bunch of like pi- international pilots I on the tarmac up, when Bill Pullman's making it. the speech in that movie? Isn't isn't there like a good? They should have a shot of like 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 twenty British guys like pulling off flight helmets and going like, you know what? If you're gonna make it fucking complicated for us, <laughs> and also he's like, gonna sign on to this allegory. And that se- that scene is absolutely ripping off Shakespeare because that's the St. Crispin's Day speech. And, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So like like yeah, that's in your face, England. <laughs> Hey! No, no I, I, I'm on your side. Like, I, I think oh, that, that's us uh, needlessly rubbing it in. Yeah. Did you know that Shakespeare invented the word eyeball? <laughs> oh, that God, he's going to bring this up public. again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are stepping on each other. Is Come that on. true? Yes. Is, yeah, so, is it true? <laughs> yes, eyeball. I mean, I'm, I'm only, is that right? Didn't he make up the word bump? Bump. Yes, yes. yes. He made up bump. bump. Amazement. Compromise. Uh, uncomfortable. uncomfortable, except comfortable already existed. So, <laughs> partial credit. We'll give it to him. This is a promotion for my new show, Great Minds, on the History Channel. <laughs> now, here's 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 where I, I, I here's my beef with Shakespeare because because of iambic pentameter. Here we go. Because because of iambic pentameter's strict rules. It has to be Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art the Romeo? It's Romeo, but you can't say Romeo because it fucks up the iambic pentameter. Mm. All right, no well. one wants to say Romeo. Yeah, they're from Italy. They're from Italy. No one in Italy calls it. It's yeah, ro- if they would have called it Romeo, them. it would have been famous. <laughs> 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 would have been huge. If they would have got that right. Now, Rob, back to your biscuits. Delicious. You, you say you put jam on them, but I, I, I think they're fine just on their own. You know, I don't think it needs any help. Yeah. They are quite good <laughs> if you heat them up. How much? What, what do you set the oven to? Great Four, Minds Four. on History <laughs> Channel. Four twenty-five. Right. It's a good show. Do we? We don't. We don't no, have it. Not. Spencer's great. Let's Spencer, roll the clip. You, you watch Great Minds on yeah, History. Yeah, let's roll the Spencer. clip. Let's roll the clip. Roll the clip. Let's roll the clip. What are we watching? You want to set up the clip? Yeah, this is uh, episode six. We go into the center of the earth. Play the clip. Fade out, fade down, Play fade the down. Clip. Play. Oh, this is a time machine situation mishap. Spencer, why are we at the center of the earth? Every time we go to the... This happens every time. Oh, look, out the window, there's a historical figure. Why is he down there? It looks like it's... Uh, He's bald. Hi, it's, it's, it's Billy Zane. Hi, I'm Bill. <laughs> someone, someone called out, it's Billy Zane, and I guess, yeah, I guess it's Billy Zane is out there. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> He's doing his line from Back to the Future 3. Hold on, hold on William, you're going to get a part. I've got to say, I've only seen 14 episodes of Harmontown and the first four. Oh, no, it's okay. So. You don't have to be a fan. This is going to no, be... No, 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 but I don't know. Are you clearly set up a bit, and I don't know what the bit is. I'm sorry. And now I'm interrupting it. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'll catch it. I'll catch it up. I'll catch it's it up. Okay. All right, all right, all right. It's, it's I, I, just I, bad improv. Let, it's let, nothing more. We're, we're going to give you a historical figure to play. Who, who, if you could play any character in, from history, anybody at all, who would it be? Uh, Margaret Thatcher. Okay. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew it. The Iron Lady. Yes. Yes. All right. 
Okay. All right. So just you know, we'll 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 let you we'll cue you. You'll know when you're okay. coming into the scene. It's, think of it like it's a radio play. Oh, this is a warm embrace. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're in a we're in a, we're in a drill. We're at the center of the earth. We just saw Billy Zane. Look, look what's right next to Billy Zane. Oh, is that the Iron Lady? <laughs> let's let's listen and see what she's saying. Hello. <laughs> she, we should, she's we drowning. We should pick her up. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Get in here, Iron Lady. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, s- strap into the into the cargo bay and oh, let's I'm get you. St- I'm strapping the fucking right now. <laughs> let's get you back up topside. Uh, oh. I guess I don't need any help. <laughs> <laughs> just you just left Billy Zane in the center of the earth. There's only three seats in the oh, in okay. the That's center fine. of the earth right. driller. That's fine. All right. Uh, all right, here we are, back. I was in uh, fifth season. Spencer, either you have to get out with Margaret Thatcher, and I'll go back down and get Billy Zane, mm. or I'll no, you or, leave the you leave the you leave the fox with the chicken feed. Why don't you? you will leave you, the, the ha- will you go down and get Billy Zane? Oh yeah, I'll go. I'll, I'll be right back. You guys sit here. I'll, I'll drive off in the mobile. I, right. sm- I smell double double podcast coming on right now. <laughs> oh, it looks like he. It looks like we've come up above ground here in uh, Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, you look. You look. You look. You look terrible. And uh, oh, like you've come, been, come on. No, you've been. I mean, like you've been through. A oh lot. yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Let's get you. Let's get you clothed and fed. Clothes. What are you talking about? Let's get you a new change of clothes. Oh, it's yeah, not all yeah. lava and dirted up, and uh, yeah. and then we'll go get you some food. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Clip clop. Clip clop. Clip clop. Billy Ooh. Zane, <laughs> are you down here? Help me! I, uh, Dear God, help me! Where? I'm, I'm, help me, please! Where? Help me, please! <laughs> They left me behind him. Who? Help me, my leg's broken. <laughs> Bone's sticking out of my leg, it hurts so much. Help me, please, help me. Why were, if that was the case, why were you just quoting earlier lines you've done the last time we I'm encountered you? I'm delirious from the pain. <laughs> Fair what point. Are you, you're, you're questioning me? The bone is sticking out of my leg. You're, it you sure don't like is. how I was speaking sure. before when you left me? Yeah, no, it's really souring my, uh, my benevolence here. I'm gonna, Please. I'm gonna get out of here. No! You're gonna <laughs> leave luck. me a second time? Please right. help me. I'm Billy Zane. <laughs> I left loved you on again. season six. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, meanwhile, at, at, at Abercrombie and, 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 and Fitch, why, why, why would I stammer and <laughs> find Fitch? What, was I gonna beat Fitch? <laughs> Ab- Abercrombie and Diamond. What was I gonna. I was gonna beat Fitch. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Abercrombie and Fitch. So, that, yeah, that looks great on you. No, no, I think I prefer the blue one, actually, you know. All right, well, let's go. Oh, excuse me, yeah. I hope uh, I don't interrupt you, but we're, we're about to close the store. Look, we're going to need a bit more time, all right? All right, well, here's the keys. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Turn the lights off and uh, light Holy the door. Shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. and and Holy make sure God. no one steals all this money that oh, I laid no, out. No, 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 no that laid out all the ones and fives and tens and twenties and fifties. Yeah, all on the no, table. No, we'll be real responsible. Please yeah. don't let anyone steal it and put it in like these trash bags that are right next to. It. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So please, so keep those keys. Um, I'm just gonna walk home because it's too hard to take the, my car key off of the. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk home. All right. So, okay. You look like good people. Okay, ding, ding. so that's been elaborately set up. So we're gonna fucking case this joint. Maggie! Take the, yeah, what? What? He just put his trust in us. And what yeah, a girl a wants, the what a girl a needs. In me. Montage! Montage of trying on clothes and then stealing things. Margaret Thatcher! <laughs> you're corrupting me! Yeah, I corrupted the fucking British morale, but you know, I don't give a fuck about that. 
shots fired! <laughs> all right. It all culminates in us finishing filling up bags with, with cash, and, and also you come out of the dressing room in the perfect dress, and I'm like, that's the one. <laughs> And then and then and then and then we run out to the parking lot and we and Oh, we... I just forgot my lunchbox, but Oh shh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? You got you I'm just oh. me, I think I oh. All right, Danny, you're gonna have to fucking take this person out. No, right? Margaret! These are the trash bags that I left there and what's it's not all of the fifties and Waste this fool <laughs> <laughs> Piano wire that I stole from the piano section of your store. <laughs> around oh, your yeah. throat. Around your throat. My <laughs> neck is over there. I don't... <laughs> what? <laughs> you're some kind of magician. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Well, I'm ch- ch- choking you to death. <laughs> Oh, I'm being choked. I, he, he's, imagining you, you, he's imagining you're in front of him right now. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> why would you steal my money? After, why are you killing me when I caught you? <laughs> Do, I trusted you. I trusted you. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, uh, why, that's why you don't buy piano wires in that, Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill somebody with those. <laughs> All right. When, <laughs> Ma- Margaret Thatcher, yeah. go, go kneel behind him and I'll push you over his back <laughs> on the count of three. And then we'll, we'll oh, yeah, run because yeah, yeah. he'll have fallen okay, down. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, just out here stargazing and... <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Billy Zay! <laughs> yes! <laughs> It took 11 minutes for me to crawl up here, but I'm finally going to get my revenge on you, Margaret Thatcher, for breaking my heart. Oh, fucking hell. Yes. That's what we're going to do. Well, Come with me, Margaret Thatcher. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to fucking hell. <laughs> Later in hell. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh. Oh. Oh. These are your legs. Oh, yes. Invade me like the Falkland Islands. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like the and I'm the, I'm the devil and I'm whipping you both. And I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. keep, keep fucking. <laughs> and I'm kind of like getting suspicious. Uh, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Who who's taking advantage of who here? <laughs> keep fucking keep fucking Billy Zane, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> uh, and then I and then I walk back. I'm, I'm walking. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm walking. I'm, wa- I'm walking back to my devil office. <laughs> and I'm like demoralized. I'm like, I don't even know. Hey, honey, honey, why you look so blue? Uh, Stephanie, could you hold all my calls? And... <laughs> okay, but you, you, have a, you have a full inbox of, you know, a lot, a lot of important devil things to do. Yeah, but could you come in, just come in my office and just, just hear me okay, out. This isn't going to be one of your... No, 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 I swear to God. Ever since that lawyer came, like, like H- I don't... We, we had the whole HR seminar about No, this. I get it. Okay. It's an unfair power dynamic. I'm, That's okay. the whole point. I can't even go there. No matter how many signals you send me, it's like it's unfair to you. It's, it's not going to happen. I'm in love with Roderick. No, it's fine. That's fine. Please don't ever say that again or I'll fire you. God. <laughs> um, well, see, uh, that's exactly why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I pretend okay. you didn't hear that. I'm coming into the I office. will never fire you. Yeah, I'm, Fuck. Uh, I'm sitting over here. All right. <sighs> Stephanie. Oh, is that, uh, I'm sorry. My high, my high heel just popped off, my, my, off my, the heel of my. <laughs> let, me, uh, let, let me pop that back on before it dangles there for a while. Oops, so she goes again. And I pop it back on. Nope, pop. Dangle, 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 dangle. What, what, what is it? What, what's on your mind? Dangle. Stephanie? Yes? I've got two things to say to you. What is it, devil? I think you lost your shoe. And you're fired. 
No, that didn't make me a hero. Okay. <laughs> you know what, Stephanie, don't. You're not fired. You brought me in the office, I'm assuming, for a reason. I've got a lot of work to do. I, I don't feel like hell is working. You, 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 you used to have an edge because you go out there, you're whipping people that enjoy it. Like now, I, like, I think a lot of people are having there. more fun in hell than in heaven. And I think maybe that you're not like a devil. Maybe you're, you're secretly, you're, you're, like a, you're like a god. Well, doy. <laughs> don't, dimin- don't diminish me. I was an angel that loved God too much. I got fired from heaven. Mm-hmm. And now I'm in hell and mm-hmm. I'm like, like fucking like, it's, guess what? It's gotten big. It's running without me, and it's it's a bummer. I I I I, I just got done whipping a politician. Oh, from, so, someone's from, at the door. Oh, okay. Should I get that? You said hold your calls. Yeah, uh, open it. Okay. Just, Hello. Hey, it's me, Pinhead. <laughs> I hate to be a, I, I hate to yeah. be a dick, but the copy machine just still does not have <laughs> enough toner in it, and I. I'm sorry, I mean, Stephanie. I, yeah, I know. I, know. I, t- I, t- I promised Pinhead a long time ago that all his IT problems uh, would uh, the buck would stop with me. <laughs> um, it's it's just it's just ink toner, boss. Uh, devil, it's I, just I, ink you, toner. You, you need to learn to, to to relegate like like things like to delegate <laughs> no, or, or delegate and relegate. I don't care if you relegate or delegate. Get some shit in. Pinhead. In pinhead. The copy machine. Pinhead. We talked about so your I attitude. So I can copy my shit. Pinhead. So I can copy my shit. <laughs> Fuck this job. Pinhead. <laughs> great. Great. <laughs> now he's dissolved through a portal. I ain't fucking dealing with this shit no more. L- we l- can only l- hear him in the walls. L- Shane opens the door. Later at a bar. Oh, Pinhead, you, you, you seem more confident than normal. Yeah, well, I told my boss to go fuck himself. You want what the, are we drinking? You want the usual? You want the... Give me two of the usual. All right. Two. Make that one on me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nicole Kidman. <laughs> As I live and breathe. Hey, look, hey, Kidman, I told you never to come back to this bar. Get the fuck out of here, fuck Kidman. Out you of didn't bar. tell me I couldn't come in and <laughs> <laughs> buy people drinks. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm yeah. turning into a bat. <laughs> fucking, fucking Kidman. That fucking fuck Nicole it, Kidman. Nicole Kidman. All over my all, good time. All I get is just grief. Grief! Oh. Do you know how hard I work at this job? You work pretty hard, I, this I, motherfucker. I, I work, I work, I work sixteen-hour crunches. <laughs> it's too much, man. Too much. Burning too, out. Too much. I, I'm burning out, and I'm in hell. Shh, you gotta, gotta, you gotta learn to smell. <laughs> gotta, you know, I hadn't thought about that. Gotta do it, I hadn't man. Thought about that. Gotta do it. Wait, Pinhead, what are you gonna do now? You're out of a job, man. You gotta well, make. You know, guys what? gotta work. Butterball and I, are, we're we're getting together. We're gonna we got this new like. You still hang out with all the Cenobites? You guys all hang out? Yeah, we we well Christmas cards for most of them, but but <laughs> Butterball and I are still tight. We went to college together, you know. But like you know we we we've been we've been working on this new new type of like, new type of way to make like ceramics. For real? A new, yeah, yeah. It's new. It's all, you know, like right. healthy. Because as it stands right now, ceramics is an old, very time-consuming, labor-intensive process. No, we do it in half the time, half the cost. Right? That's what it says on the box. <laughs> half the time, half the cost. You can, don't have can, to be waiting can, can for I, it to get out of the, can I, can, out of the can oven I, can to can have I, a cup of coffee. Can I get into the ground floor of this? I'll sell the bar. I'll get into you. If I, can, can, can I? Well, I was going to say, you've got the pizza oven there, and we can move the video game over there. We, we've got ourselves we make, a business. We make the ceramics right here in the bar. Right. Right. Moving up in the world. <laughs> it's a montage to this song. Moving up in the world. You make ceramics all day long. I got the money, money, baby. Times are changing all the time. I got ceramics all the time. And there's a graph showing the uh, ceramic sales <laughs> going up. And uh, the bartender and Pinhead are being ceramics. showered with uh, coins. What, 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 what? Yeah, cuts to a montage of people buying ceramics. Yeah, just them. people buying you know, ceramics. Oh, I like that money. Yeah, that money goes around. I got that money. Oh, 
oh, boy. shopping carts full of vases, and then and then yeah, okay. We got so much money. Yeah, Look you at know all this can money. I, can I can I talk to you, man man to man? Okay, let me I, let me close the drapes. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing all the heavy lifting here, Pinhead. I feel like you know you yeah you, My yes idea. you're the idea man, but who's doing all the day to day? My idea. <laughs> we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my idea. Yeah, but uh, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for all my fucking blood, sweat, and tears. Right? Okay, so fifty-fifty. So, uh, 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 no, I, I'm, I'm actually taking. Uh, I, I... Somebody's opening the drapes. Oh, the drapes are opening. <laughs> Should have locked the drapes. What are you guys talking about? Oh shit, Nicole. <laughs> Can we have one? Just asking. Okay. <laughs> I'm on my way to an audition. <laughs> uh, what's you guys on? have been oh, giving no, no, me the cold no, shoulder no, lately. No, 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 no. Come in, come in. What, what is it? What's on your mind? Should I divorce Tom Cruise? <laughs> I mean, I, I, do, you, do you love him? Oh, shit. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. Get the, the back drapes, something for the back drapes. <laughs> Hello, Nicole. It's Tom. Tom! <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Pinhead, we should leave. We should leave. Let's let them talk. Let's let them okay, talk. Okay. No, no, stay. Oh. Tom, whatever you have to say to me, you can say in front of my friends. <laughs> you, you, you hurt me well enough in front of everyone. Oh, God, this is so You can't leave me, Nicole. No, that's the problem, Tom. The problem for you it's that I can. I'll clean it up and tighten it later. <laughs> didn't, didn't they get divorced like 20 years ago? At time in this is set, the, this the is overworld set, this moves. This is set in the 80s. This, this is, is, is the whole yeah. movie. All right. In the 90s? All right. Listen, I love you, Nicole. Well, uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Ba- based for all intents and purposes, I love you. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Don't be afraid, Nicole. But... (laughs) But what? But what? (laughs) But what what? (laughs) What but? What but? Are we we allowed to leave now? Can we do it? Stay. I just... Anything that Cole has to say to you, I have, me, you guys, you guys she can no, say in front of there's you. There's no forward progress in this conversation. Like, so you guys have to communicate with each other. What did I do to you, Nicole? You're a bigger fool than I thought if you don't know. <laughs> I might not have been born when that happened. And I wasn't born yesterday. But when that happened, we all were. And you know what you did. And it all comes down, Tom not whether or not you love me or don't love me. It's whether or not when I look in your eyes, I can feel, I can feel what I used to feel. <laughs> I'm walking. I put my hand on a, a pane of glass and there's raindrops on the other side. And on, on the other side of that uh, window pane, you can still see Billy Zane and Margaret Thatcher fucking. Uh, that's a hellscape oh, out there. Yes. there. It's a fiery hellscape. <laughs> But that, uh, and then, and then, uh, oh, pull my hair! <laughs> and they thump the wall, and a, and a, and a record needle goes down. And uh, what would you think I would do in this moment? With tears in my eyes. Well, Nicole, I'm gonna have to get my lawyer involved. Tom, no. Oh, yes, Nicole. Yes, it's past the point now. I've introduced the character, Nicole, my lawyer. Oh. I'm the lawyer. Hi. How are you? Wow. I, uh, I was in her purse. All right, well, huh, let's get this over with. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm with Tom, right? You're yeah. Tom. You're yeah, Tom. yeah, I'm Tom. Yeah, yeah, I was in your purse. <laughs> and now I'm just poking my nose and my fingers out. I'm, I'm like, I'm the lawyer. I'm the lawyer. 
This is a powerful visual, Nicole. Hello. Think how it'll play in court. Hello. <laughs> Fine, I love you, I love you. Let's Good. do it. Good, nice. Let's, let's stay let's, married. Let's not just stay married, let's fuck. <laughs> let's fuck right here, Nicole. Yes. 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 I'm Tom Cruise. I'm Nicole Kidman. <laughs> am I, am I, oh, oh, can we still leave? Is yeah. there, are we allowed? Snowy, hey. I want you to watch. We if it's a, worth I, doing to I, me, it's worth you watching. I'm trying to run a ceramics business here. <laughs> I don't feel safe with him. <laughs> Okay, see that? Oh boy! I, 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 we're done now. Thank you, Tom. <sighs> so there's closure. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> we're almost done with the show. If you left it this way. Oh morning, really? Would, oh yeah. no, no, no. Let's let's stick it out. Yeah. <laughs> we cut back to the devil's office with, with uh, Stephanie. Was it? What was my name? Stephanie. Se- yeah. uh, devil. Um, Look, the office has gone to shit since Pinhead left. I'm doing everything. I'm 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 at sixes and sevens over here, but I, I've been I've been looking around. Everybody's having a good time. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman got back together, kind of. Uh, their contretemps is kind of over. Uh, M- Margaret Thatcher's having the time of her life. Yeah. So why don't I just put on a? What uh, are we doing here? Yeah. Like, like, exactly. Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we? Why aren't we just in heaven? You know the bartender from d- down the road? He's he's making a fortune in ceramics. <laughs> All right, I'm the one holding we're, up the we're, show. We're, we're barely, we're barely breaking even here. Stephanie, what? Get me God. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hiya. I got it, Steph. I, 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 I got the D-bone on the phone for you. Can I put you on? Yeah, go for it. All right. De- Devil, I got God. Hey. Hey, how's it going? You know. I mean, you, you, you know. Yeah, you don't call too much, but it's, it's uncommon. Yeah, yeah. Glad I got to hear it. from you. Uh, it's good to hear you. Good to hear you, too. <laughs> Things cra- crazy. It's, it's like I don't even know what's punishment, what's reward. <laughs> yeah, when you're outside of my glory, things get all mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. know all about that. But it's gotta be it's gotta, it's gotta be crazy up there too, man. No, nah, I mean it's it's heaven. Paradise, my friend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you! <laughs> yeah. No, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we should get together sometime. Yeah, no, I'm planning on that a couple couple thousand years. Yeah, well, don't flatter yourself, you fucking faggot! <laughs> Oh, no, devil, devil. Call, call him back. Call him back. No. I'm calling him back. No, you. I, no. No, I will turn you into a fucking mouse. Our lawyers agree that you're not allowed to do You're a mouse. Uh, squeak, squeak. Everyone that defies me is a fucking mouse. I don't know what he fucking... Why does he do that? It's so fucked up to say to somebody. Oh, my God, it's so fucked up. Jumping out the devil window! <laughs> Vanilla sky! He just blinked. He, 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 honey, he just blinked. Honey, he just blinked. Uh, honey, are you okay? Are you are you with us, honey? Uh, it's it's your it's your mother and father, Mrs. Uh, Mister and Mrs. Devil. Uh, Dad, you had such a bad fall, big guy. Your mom, yeah. Dad. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, got, I, got, uh, I got kicked out of heaven. Yeah. I don't know. He did it a second time. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's self-destructive. You keep, you keep, yeah. you, it's like you, it's like you, you want to be unhappy, yeah. son. It's like you want to be unhappy. I don't, that doesn't help. I, I'm just saying like, you, you keep, you keep getting fired from your own jobs. Like, like you, you're in charge of hell, and you, you, now, now it's being run by this weird ceramics corporation. And shit's going. It, it's really horrifying. <laughs> and the devil's dick <laughs> moves upward like Pinocchio's nose through the ceiling of the hospital into the sky, where it blooms into a red tree. With green leaves. And within those green leaves, caterpillars feed. I'll get it, says the little caterpillar. Hello, it's Margaret Thatcher again. Where's the toilet action? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's over there. It's over there. It, yeah, Back yeah. Back there? Yeah. All right. It would have. I'll be back. It's the actual. Yeah. <laughs> really had to pee in real life. That was a real life pee. Oh, he had to go back. Oh, he had to really go. I think he really had to pee. We've been up here a long time. <laughs> oh, I just realized, like, I kicked it. He was gesturing and he was, like, je- pointing and I was, like, I was, <laughs> I, I, I thought he meant, like, 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 should I leave? And I was, like, no, baby, stay. <laughs> Like I was doing him a big favor. Like, no, come on, yeah. we're all people here, and he's like, no, I'm pissing my pants. Yeah, he, you, know, you know what he's doing? You know what he's doing right now? It's making know. chocolate poopies. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, it's great. All right. So, all right. The, what, what, what was, where was it going with the caterpillars? Like, the, I don't know. Do got, we need to talk about the loud laughing guy again? Like the <laughs> because we've talked about everything else. You know the guy. Who's the? Where's the guy? He's where's right the, there. There he is. Let him have a good time. He's having a great time. All right. He's Let him fine. have a good time. He's fine in here. People. People are still. They're going. You to, got a loud. They're laugh. listening to the podcast. And they're going like that. Guy's laugh is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want, that, I, want, I want to have a button you just push where that happens at all times. You do. It's called the show and uh, <laughs> talking, right? I mean, he's having a, he likes it all. <laughs> he, likes, he likes it all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So good. Can't also, make a law against somebody's laugh. Let's... But it's just, I think it's the way it hits the microphones. The, it's the Redditors. You know, they're joyless. They don't hear a lot of laughter. So they're like, they're like oh, my God, that's already grating, just the, idea, just the sound of joy in general. And then yeah. that guy is like, holy shit, the bulldozer of joy. I'm like, I have a thing going on here. And we, on, the, on the other side of the spectrum, we have one guy just sublimates all of his joy to, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we I think I think I think we've learned a lesson tonight. Oh, I th- we learned a lot. I probably should probably sum it up in something that you can applaud to, like a like yeah. a like a yeah. 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 Just let me feel. Yeah. Wait, can, Dan, Yo. can I change my mind on, the, on, the, on that selection? Yeah, so, yeah, sure. Feel good. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Margaret Thatcher's back. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can, uh, Margaret Thatcher, can you hype man for him like Flavor Flames now? Uh, I, like, I like the other one, though. This one's intimidating. It reminds me of the movie. And then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you crazy for this one, Dan? Yeah. You, Levy, you hear that? Yeah. 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 East Coast. No, no, stick around. He's just getting started. He's just getting started. East Coast. Just getting started. Hmm. 
East Coast is the only coast. It's an unpopular opinion, but only on the West Coast. The West Coast doesn't exist. It's an artificial construct written by a list of people. Call them Jews. Oh, I'm an yeah. East Coast anti-Semitic rapper. East Coast anti-Semitic rapper. I believe the West Coast is a figment created by the Zionists. An extreme East Coast anti-Semitic rapper. Don't get any more East Coast than this. It's just a, it's just a concept I'm workshopping. I can't even. I can't even hear the, the. What's the beat? It just sounds like. Yo. You, you pick this one. Yo. 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 Spaghetti, linguine, pasta, sauce. I fucked your mama. Who's the boss? Give me a second. Don't. Don't help. I mean that's extreme, right? It's extreme. That's not fine. That's fine. Don't. 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 Don't feel shame. Don't. But feel a little say ten percent shame. Just feel ten percent shame, I think, then everyone will Alright. We'll stop losing subscribers. Alright. Yeah. Top down, bottom up. Fucked your mama so hard, she looked like a cup. The diameter of her vagina was as big as North Carolina. Put my dick in it so hard. I fucked your mama into the front and backyard. But uh, that, that song was over. Okay. You want it again? No. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing it. So so close to an we're end. ending with this. All right. All yeah. Right. We're yeah. gonna end at any moment. Any moment. This is over. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. Nancy Reagan dance. The Nancy Reagan dance. Everybody. Doing the Reagan. He's doing the Nancy. Oh yeah, say no. Yo, 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 yo. Everybody do the Nancy. Mustard, salt, ketchup, lettuce. Fuck your mama. She let us uh, do it. That's called consent. Hook to it. Now, now, fuck Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. Let's let us show. Do it. Woo! Let's hear it for William Pugh. Uptown, downtown, fuck your mama's Rob Schraub. Spencer Crittenden. Side to side. The solid the gold wall. dancers. Fuck your so hard, she didn't have a ball. I got a hook I'm Jeff Davis. Got a hook up, do, 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 do. Let's go to West Coast. Thank you, Zach, Mama, you Chris, Johnny, Dustin, Hope, everybody back there the doing the thing. Drive fast and take chances. You're allowed to leave whenever you want. I got a thing. Well, boom, got the fork and the knife. Fucked your mama for all her life. Got the vegetables, cereals, grains. The whole food pyramid reigns supreme over your nutrition. Fucked your mama so she could get tuition. That was badass. <laughs> he even said that was, that was good. I fucked your mama for tuition. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, watch Great Minds on History, and, uh, and and we'll see you at South by Southwest. But there's still going to be a show here next week. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.